Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to the channel. We are here today to check out which brand new high-end virtual reality games we're going to play next week. Now, the little disclaimer, by saying high-end, I mean the games that gonna work either on PC or PlayStation VR 2. I don't mean that they look in amazing, there is still might be some, you know, shitty games as well, but just the games that you can, basically, the games you can play on the machines where your PS VR 2 headset will plug in, which is PS5 and, of course, very soon PC. That's why, as I said yesterday, as PS VR 2 evolves, the channel evolves with it. Before I start, if you're not subscribed, then subscribe, and if you want to help the channel, like the video and share it with your friends. We starting from 9th of July and PlayStation VR 2. And the game you're going to get is Spin Rhythm XD. Let me read the description. Enter the Rhythm Dimension, a homage to classic arcade rhythm games, Guitar Hero, DDR, which means of course Dance Dance Revolution, with a modern aesthetic and soundtrack. Much colors and beats, spin, tap, flick and flow through the juiciest beats in the universe. The game is already out on Steam, it's released on 14th March, but it's coming to PlayStation VR 2, the Steam version don't have VR support, uh, the PS5 version will come with PlayStation VR 2 support and you basically will be using your Sense controllers to spin things around as the uh, trailer shows. So for all of you who still didn't had enough of rhythmic games in virtual reality, which I definitely had, uh, but if you didn't and uh, maybe you want to play another one, then you'll be able to play Spin Rhythm very, very soon. Moving on to the another game, and this is coming to PlayStation VR 2 and Steam VR and Quest as well. PS VR 2 is virtual reality version. The headsets that support pass through uh, slash XR, they're gonna get XR version as well, uh, but don't matter. This is Infinite Inside coming to you on 12th of July. Explore a enchanting and mysterious world. Collect shreds, solve intricate puzzles and assemble keys to unlock the mysteries of secret society. The game being published by Mace Fiori, probably you know them best from Doctor Who virtual reality game. The key features of the game are five stunning words, Escape into five peaceful and soothing labyrinths filled with mysteries, rich environmental storytelling, engage with a deep and captivating story embodied in the world, challenging and accessible. Tackle mind-bending geometric puzzles at your own pace with intuitive controls, immerse yourself in rich, captivating audio and music, deepening your connection with the world. All sounds good, uh, might be another cool virtual reality game. Tons of puzzles games, uh, but you know, when they original, I like them and I enjoy them. This one seems like relaxing, but also challenging at the same time. So something I might like. Releasing on 12th of July, but you can download demo already on Steam VR is Space Drop. Can you become the best space jumper in the universe? Jump, jump out of spaceship into a rap tunnel. Feel the thrill of the high speed. Evade obstacles and collect pickups on your way. Full VR experience, unique music. The developer says on Steam that this game was inspired by skydiving, which is something what always feels good in VR. Also, you can have random levels, endless fun in random generated levels, fixed levels. In fixed levels, you've got competition, leaderboards, awards and achievements and you control jumps with your VR controllers, of course. Looking at the trailers uh, and what it shows, it looks like a very cool, spacey experience uh, with very colorful graphics, which definitely gonna look good on my PSVR 2 once the, of course, <laughs> the VR adapter drops. I cannot wait. So, cannot wait. But anyway, if you got any other headset, go and check it out. I might check it out on my Quest and then move on to my PSVR 2. Releasing on 14th of July on Steam is Fairy Bobble. The fairies have been arrested and the magical world is threatened. Holy shit, some serious stuff is about to go down. You must free all the fairies by popping the bubbles that trap them. To free them, you must throw your magic balls into the bubbles that hold the fairies. 
When you free all the fairies on the island, a magic crystal will appear. Throwing a magic ball on it will transport you to the next island. Wow! As you progress, you will gain new magic balls. Pay attention to your magic balls as they work differently. Always, guys, pay attention to your balls. Always. Yellow balls, holy shit, you don't want that, have normal gravity and bounce with and bounce when hitting the ground. Red balls have no gravity and do not need a lot of force to throw them. Blue balls are teleport you with them, you can walk around the island and castle. Green balls, that's the most disgusting balls you could have, are special bombs to defeat the enemy. There you go. After freeing all the fairies and defeating the enemy, you will take control of the magical world and explore all the islands. If you dare, you can see the magical world from the top. Oh fuck, wow, who will dare to do that? Travel on this fun and challenging adventure. And those are your all new releases for next week for high-end VR. So in the games, so cool stuff, I want to check out Infinite Inside. I'm gonna have a look at the PC games, hopefully, if I get time. Like I said earlier in the video, as of now on Quest, but I'm definitely moving on to PSVR 2. I know many of you uses the Quest in the comment section, that's fine, I just don't like the uh, bit of a hassle with it. Even though I enjoy the headset, I'm sure I'm gonna enjoy, you know, the native VR picture, not just streamed uh, via USB cable or Wi-Fi by proper native picture on my PSVR 2 and it's a lighter headset. I do not own Quest 3, so who knows, might be better, might not, I don't know. But definitely my PSVR 2 uh, got big advantage because you can plug it to PSV PS5 and PC. Quest, you can only plug it to PC, so obviously I'm gonna go for the, let's say, the better and newer headset. Um, I know some of you might say pancake, pancake lenses are better on Quest, uh, maybe they are, but I really, really like my PSVR 2. I really like how light it is as well on my head, so uh, there's that. So. Keep letting me know in the comment section what you're feeling about the channel, kind of moving on in the direction when PSVR 2 is moving. PS5, not going anywhere, so I still gonna cover it on this channel. PS5 VR, but also PC VR uh, gonna enter the scene as well, since it's PSVR 2 channel and PSVR 2 supports both. Now, I know some of you don't have PC. Uh, whenever you can, maybe try to get one, uh, even if not now, next year, two years, I don't know, whenever. You don't need high-end, uh, this one is not high-end, what I've got here, it's RTX 360, I think, it's not the best, but plays VR good, saying that I'm getting quite beastly PC for when the adapter drops, just because I want to. But anyway, before I go, big shout out to all the patrons, they scrolling down there in the background, I'm trying to point here, thank you very much for your support, I really appreciate it, and also to all of you who's watched, thank you very much, uh, if you're not subscribed, then subscribed. And if you want to help the channel, then uh, like video and share. 